uh, going through all the apps that comes with it. I have some of them I've downloaded, like if you know the famous Angry Birds, I downloaded that. But it comes with Adobe, you can block colors, calculator, calendar. There are a couple of double ups over here. Um, I'll show you a couple of them. So use all Facebook apps. You have Gmail. That is obviously to, you know, it's a client specific for your Gmail accounts, but you can also set your Gmail under mail as well. And you have the H, uh, hang on, sorry. You have this two music. One is, I think, HTC, and one is um, from the Android operating system itself. You have news and news and weather, so, you know, it's rather similar. And Peep, I believe, is the HTC customized apps for Twitter. But you actually have down here a Twitter app. <laughs> so there's there's some of those uh, duplicated sort of you know application that pretty much do the same thing. Uh, they come they all came standard. And a couple of the apps I want to show you uh, HTC Hub and HTC Likes. So HTC Likes uh, it they uh, they actually have the recommended um, Google Android apps out in the market. But you can also get the other ones uh, if you don't see them in the HTC likes. You can browse through them on the market apps in Android. And by the way, the then the next thing I want to show you the the maps and location maps in Google Maps. Location is actually pretty cool. Um, the it's made by HTC special, um, so you can see. Okay, show me the nearest um, shopping, eating, trans transit bank. They're not that complete, um, I guess, um, from, well, at least in where I am anyway, in Sydney City, the, that's still not much uh, to see there uh, on, on the list, I guess they're still working on it. And if you go back to the home page, let me show you this one, my location. You'll see a 3D picture of it. Press this, brings you 2D, 3D, and gives you the compass reading south, west, east, north. One cool feature if I rotate the phone over there, it follows you. So it's the phone always, uh, the map follows where the phone is facing. So it's always easy to navigate around using this, either you're walking or using the car. Uh, the map is preloaded. Uh, if you switch your memory card, then you need to download the map again of, uh, from HTC. You just need to pay data charges for your carrier. Uh, the only premium uh, service is that if you want uh, voice guidance, otherwise everything's free. Uh, you can also use Google Maps. I think Google Maps uh, navigation is still in its uh, beta uh, version. Still related to the uh, navigation, there's an app called car panel press that you have this nice six uh, big buttons to press destination phone footprints nearby of history and settings self-explanatory self-explanatory you can uh, get you uh, dial people from here just dial or favorite or recent call you can go back and then you can do destination footprints history okay all that and surprisingly enough once you are in this car mode, I guess to avoid you from accidentally pressing all the buttons, uh, none of the capacitive uh, buttons uh, work except search. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, exit, you gotta press that one, that button, exit out of there. Okay, it also comes uh, with Teeter game. I'm sure you've seen it if you have used a HTC phone before. So it's using your um, the accelerometer accelerometer of the phone itself. And I've just I've finished the game before. I'm sure a lot of you have. I finished it using my old phone. The battery life. Um, this phone, if you use it quite frequently, you you're gonna have to recharge it every night. Uh, the battery isn't that great, um, a lot as in a bit of games, you know, a bit of web browsing. I'm not saying that I'm using it five hours continuously. I'm using it, you know, five minutes every hour or so, or just a bit more than that. And because I've been playing ar around with it uh, for the past 24 hours, I've charged it twice. <laughs> 
yeah, testing out the all, all the allocation apps, the the games, the web browser, the camera, the video, and yeah, the battery drain. I think um, a lot of people say that too um, across the forums and reviews. Uh, let me know how yours fare though. Uh, this phone also comes with um, reader app. Um, with my model anyway, it comes with a couple of books. Uh, Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Alice in Wonderland, A Tale of Two Cities, um, and that. So, if you, as an example, if I show you the Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, so this is what I'm pointing at. So, if you zoom out, it actually gives you the whole page view, which is quite good. It is um, might not be readable from this camera, but um, you're actually reading it I'm actually reading it here I'm about uh, I'm behind the camera and I'm about I would say 20 25 centimeters from the phone and I can read this clearly uh, and you zoom in and then the, the text resizes it's in themselves inside the to fit the screen which is great you can zoom even further like that that's about as much you can get into zoom anyway Another thing that I want to show you, uh, well, I can't really show you. I'm just going to talk about it. Is that the the use of this three and a half mil uh, millimeter uh, jack for audio? Um, I don't have that good of a um, pair of um, earphone anyway, so I can't really comment. But the quality is all right, I think, um, for a you know for a factory standard um, bottle in. Uh, earpiece is the one that uh, so the one that came with the this phone they perform the job just fine I think it should be sufficient unless you are um, you know if you're you're really after high-end audio quality anyway talking about the speaker the quality of the speaker isn't that great I expected better the um, speaker phone quality also also isn't that great it's quite weak actually uh, I have um, I mean I have this old well cheap ass Nokia uh, phone that I got from work and man that phone is like eighty dollars and the the quality of the song, it's not great but it's so loud um, you can use it in the in the uh, you know um, in the middle of the city when everything's crowded you can use it in your car when you wind down your window speeding in the highway you can hear clearly with this phone it's just uh, it reminds me of my old HTC Touch Pro very little speaker grill and that appearance pretty much says it all you know it's weak for such a high-end phone uh, quality is just okay but uh, and you know it it does the job if you're indoor but outdoor it isn't that great in my opinion uh, let me know if you think otherwise though that's uh, been my take on HTC Touch Pro I mean I, I haven't covered all the features um, obviously but I've covered what I think uh, wanted to show you what I consider more important um, but do post you comments and questions uh, if you want me to cover uh, specific features and I can either uh, respond in comments or message or I can uh, create a video dedicated for it do let me know um, thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe um, I'll see you later thank you bye